Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Foxtrot India Shack once again. I am Morton, LB0 Fox India. And uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, how to use a nano VNA to determine if an antenna is uh, still functioning or not. I have an antenna that I might want to repurpose for repeater use. It's an old Diamond X50 that's been stored outside. And I don't really know how good it is. So what we're going to do after the intro is we're going to put it on the nano VNA and uh, see if it's any good and if it's usable for a 2 meter repeater. So hang on after the intro and uh, we'll start checking the antenna out. First of all, we're going to calibrate the nano VNA. And I might be doing this wrong. I haven't done anything else and probably you guys have done. I've watched some guides on YouTube and read a little bit on the internet. I bought the Nano VNA used, so I don't have a manual for it, but um, we'll make it work. Let's open up the case here. So what we're going to need is the three calibration widgets, thingies, don't know what they're called. The 50 ohm the 50 ohm load here, the open right here, let's see if we can get it to focus, uh, won't focus, but the open one here, and the short here. Then we're going to need the nano VNA and something to point at the screen with. Okay. We have the nano VNA right here. I'm going to turn it on, and I've removed the cap right here. Let's start by saying where we're going to measure it. And we're going to start at 140, 140 megahertz. And we're going to do this for both 70 and, uh, and 2 meters for starters. So we're going to stop at for 40 megahertz and for you Americans uh, the European uh, or the region 1 70 centimeter band and the region 1 2 meter bands are different from uh, from North America okay so let's calibrate it I'm gonna hit back and hit calibrate reset and calibrate and we're gonna do the open and that's this one right here. No pens, no nothing. It's just open. Let's screw that on. And press open. Then we're going to do the short, which is this one right here. And you can probably see the pen here and everything around. It's shorted out. So it's pretty easy to see that it's a short. Press short, then we're going to do load. Get this right here. And I know that the screen isn't really easy to see, and that's why I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm going to hit load, then I'm going to hit done, and save it to number zero. So it's right there when we start. So right now it's calibrated for... Uh, all the way through 140 megahertz to uh, 440 megahertz. So let's take it outside on the uh, antenna and see how the antenna performs. For simplicity, I have just strapped this uh, steel pipe to the railing here and mounted the antenna up top. As I said in the intro, this is not going to be a permanent install for me. It's uh, just going to be a test to see if this works for a repeater. So uh, let's put it on the uh, nano VNA and uh, see how good it is. It turns out that filming this is not as easy as I thought. Uh, but there is a dip. There are several dips. One here at 146, which is pretty much 
uh, almost right to where we want it. We'll do another sweep for just a two meter band afterwards. And there's another one right here uh, at 260, which is not really where we want it. And then it drops down again at four, about 437. So that's not too bad. But what we're really concerned about is the two meter band. So I'm gonna set the Nano VNA up again and uh, calibrate it and we'll do another sweep for two meters. And I've set it up now for 144 through 146 and I know it's kind of hard to see on the screen because of the sunlight and uh, that the camera don't really want to focus right. But it's pretty much flat all the way through the, four, uh, the two meter band uh, with the lowest SWR on the top end of the band where it's uh, 1 to 1.06. So this antenna is pretty much more than good enough for repeater use. And since you can't really see the screen, you'll just have to take my word for it. Let's go back inside. So that was it. It's not really any harder than that. Just calibrate your Nano VNA, uh, put it on the antenna and see how good it performs. As you can see, the X50 that I tested is uh, more than good enough for repeater use. So. Might be used for that, might not, but it's still a decent performer and that's what we wanted to check out if it was still working. So hang on for uh, more episodes from uh, the LB0 Fox India channel. And if you really like this video or any of my other videos, uh, please do like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3. Oh, you're still here. Well, don't forget about my Etsy store where you can buy the LB0 Fox India dipole kit. And coming up soon, uh, LB0 Fox Start India linked dipole kit. So please pay attention to the Etsy store. And uh, if there's anything you'd like there, uh, don't hesitate to buy. I'll ship it right away and uh, you'll get it worldwide. Okay, once again, 7 3.